Ryan's entirely wrong Kicked a hole in the game before multiple views by Tommy gone Gotta be strong when you're popping the paparazzi phone Sliders singing in your local precinct like He got away with it But he ain't get away with it Jury know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let that get too far ahead. You know who I be? Follow me on IG, Vida underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. You know what it's hit before if you didn't know. Shout out to my brother Showtime SP and everybody that watches this content, whether religiously or in passing. There's been some nasty work going on in battle rap for like the past couple days. I actually shot a blog earlier, but I heard some more things and I seen some more things, so I kind of want to wait and let the parties that's responsible speak up for themselves, you know what I'm saying? When they, with the whole Calico not battling, not having a flight book, a flyer coming out with his name, Rum Nitty being promoted, they knew he wasn't gonna be there, they knew Cal wasn't gonna be there, you know what I'm saying? I wanna start, we gonna get everything out of the way. So they knew that Cal wasn't gonna be there because he didn't have a flight. The morning of, Mr. Fab tries to book Calico a flight, the morning of. From what I'm hearing is he didn't know that the artist was supposed to cover their own track. Look, I, 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 forget all that. I ain't even going to do all that. I'll let y'all speak. You know what I'm saying? When y'all talk, if you take too long, people going to make you talk. But y'all will get to speak on that. But to promote a card as if Cal versus Pass is going to happen, to promote a card as if Rum Nitty versus Charlie Clips is going to happen, knowing these battles are not happening, knowing that there's fans standing outside online waiting to get in, knowing that there are people buying pay-per-views for $45, it actually went up to $60 after y'all knew that Cal wasn't going to be there, after y'all knew that Rum Nitty wasn't going to be there, they didn't have flights. And then uh, <laughs> Mr. Fab says on the live stream, Yo, shout out to y'all. Appreciate y'all coming out. Do, 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 do random stuff. Uh, Cal missed his flight. You said Cal missed his flight. Cal couldn't miss a flight that he never had. He could not miss a flight that he never had, Mr. Fab. This is nasty work. You know what I'm saying? People actually paid for y'all pay-per-view. They took time off work to watch y'all pay-per-view. And they didn't get two battles that was supposed to be on there. Cal versus Pass. And they didn't get Rum Nitty versus Charlie Clips. Now, Rum Nitty, Charlie Clips ain't wrote no bars all year long. He be freestyling this shit. This is one of the most unneeded rematches ever, first of all. This rematch was not needed. Charlie Clips lost 3-0 to Rum Nitty when it first was decided, and he was going to lose again. They, I'm going to tell, tell you what I feel like happened, because I've been hearing blippity blip, chirpity chirp stories. I mean, it is what it is. I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to talk what I got to talk about battle rap. I'm hearing that Rum Nitty was never paid, never had a flight, and didn't get his deposit. That's what I'm hearing. But he was still promoted on a card, still pushed as if he was going to battle, and the battle happened and he wasn't there. I'm hearing people was talking to him a day or two before the battle, and he's like, yo, my, my situation ain't right. I'm not there. I heard from other artists. They writing two, three days before the event because they hadn't been paid yet. So y'all get the ball to do whatever y'all need to do to get this right, but this looks crazy, especially people who pay. I didn't cop, because I'm done with pay-per-views. A lot of y'all pay-per-views, I'm done. If it's not like a big, 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 big time league, like I know URL ain't gonna have two, three battles that ain't gonna fucking happen. I know RBE ain't having no two, three battles on no card that ain't happening. I know Chrome ain't having no two, three battles on no happening. Bullpen wants to be uh, talked about with the biggest leagues out there. I say I was one of the top leagues when I was on Fox News. I said that. The last two events, event after event, with two battles not happening, I don't know where y'all stand. And this is crazy. Like, it shouldn't be happening. Event after event. JC vs. Clone didn't happen. Chef Trez vs. Charlie Clips didn't happen. Then flip it to the very next event, Cal vs. Pass don't happen. Clips vs. Nitty. Duck. We tired. Niggas don't even want to hear. At this point, nobody cares. Nobody ain't calling them around saying, y'all want your money back. I didn't pay, so I'm not tripping. But SP paid, and I go half with him. So now I got to go half with him for an event that half the battles weren't there when I told the nigga don't cop it anyway. But he's a fucking huge fan, so he got to cop every pay-per-view and shit. And I be telling this nigga, half these niggas is not showing up. I told him. He can tell you that I told him that half these niggas ain't going to show up. But he copped it anyway. In essence, this is not my partner. Now I got to take half of a loss with him for $60 when I wouldn't have copped it. I promise you, I put that on my kids. I would not have copped that shit. I would have went. I was in Atlanta this weekend. There's no way I would have copped that. No way. And then he cops it, gets beat in the head. Half the battles don't happen. Now I gotta, now I gotta bust it up with him. Like, <laughs> so I'm gonna let y'all have that. 
That ain't even what I'm mad at. But for Mr. Fab to know that Rum Nitty wasn't going to come, to know Calico wasn't going to be there, for y'all to continue to promote it, and for y'all to know that people were standing outside paying $60, $70 to get in the building, knowing that they wasn't going to be there, that shit is crunchy, and there's no way around it. There ain't no excuse. If you're a boss, the boss takes the loss. You can't fucking know that uh, uh, a battle or two ain't showing up and they had the people still copping and thinking that they're going to be there. You knew when y'all woke up that morning. Everybody involved, when they knew that morning, knew that Calico or Rum Nitty wouldn't be there. Period. There's no way around it. They knew that they weren't going to be there. Because how do I know they weren't going to be there and y'all didn't know and y'all was involved? People calling me at left and right. Ooh, they, this person not showing up, this person not showing up. Ah. But I knew something was up because when they asked who should host it, everybody said my name. I didn't get a call or a tweet about it. I said, this shit, every other league, when they asked and my name is involved, we at least have a conversation, at least get hit up, at least the niggas ain't even tweet towards me. And I seen my name on that tweet like 40 times when they asked who should host it. So when I saw that, I already knew some bullshit was up. But now, you got a situation where people is paying for pay-per-views and the behalf the battles on the fucking card ain't happening. So now, y'all move, be wary is all I'm gonna say. I'm not telling you what cars to cop versus what cars not to cop, but this is the type of shit that's going on out here. Now, let's get that off the desk. It's on y'all, when y'all respond, We'll see how that goes. But if you ask me, I think Mr. Fab should recap, repay every single person who copped that pay-per-view. Every single person who copped that pay-per-view needs should get a refund. Two of the main battles weren't there. What the fuck are they paying for? If not, they should get half their money back. I want half my money back, and I ain't even paid SP half the money back. I want my shit back. I don't, mm -mm. I don't pay $60 to see Loso versus Danny, Yoshi versus... Uh, Vixen and John John versus fucking Mr. Fab, a battle that we already knew he was gonna win before the shit was even on the card. I'm sorry, I ain't got it. Um, nope, nope, nope. That's one. Now to Miss Hustle. <sighs> now, we done heard about your ghostwriting allegations for years and years and years, you know what I'm saying? I heard every single nigga in the game. You know, they've been writing this nigga, been writing that nigga, been writing. She was getting shit from prep. She was getting shit from this prep. I don't, we done heard all about this shit already. But this right here is crazy. Keep your tone, keep it low blood, hypotension. Hold the autocorrect, it's a typo. What kind of shit is here? I know you lying. Distance, hit him in a snipe position. Nah, right on rock. Hieroglyphs. I know you I fucking know. lying. <laughs> I know. I know you lying. Nigga. Look at the comment. Slate, we didn't want that goofy shit. We wanted you to show them how the machine work. We wanted you to show them how the machine work. This is crazy. Work. But you turned that shit to first 48, bringing up police work. And after you lost, you interviewed the J-Jerk nigga. That made it seem worse. I thought the GOAT was seasoned enough to know he ain't need jerk. You ain't right, none of straight. this, yo. This is The nerve of you. <laughs> you That's disrespect. Like That's this is probably the most egregious ghostwriting conf confirmation I have ever seen. Shout out to Copper Bravado. I actually watched him. He battled Miss Hustle. He just got a battle with T-Top that just came out on the app. I'm probably going to watch that later. But uh, he, he got flow. New Orleans cat. You know what I'm saying? I, I dig his, I see what he's doing. I see what he's trying to build. He's not trying to be friends. He's trying to compete with niggas. And he's getting on. Right? Uh, I like some of his bars. I, I like the way he puts his shit together. He got a really dope pen. Uh, he trolls too. So when he said that he, he said this like eight nine months ago that he had wrote for Miss Hustle, and nobody believed him. I don't think I believed him either. I seen the shit past my timeline. I was like, all right, cool, nigga, ain't say nothing. Whatever the case may be. His final exam battle came out with uh, T Top today. You know what I'm saying? Drop all the final exam battles. I was watching um, Ryder versus uh, Bandit Montana. I was looking. Uh, I think I got to the third round. I'm gonna finish watching it. I think I had it like 1-1 one, one going into the third. I had Ryder edging the first band. It clearly took the second. I'm on to the third. So I was watching it, right? Um, this nigga, Capo, comes out with a tweet that says, Play with somebody else, bitch. Men lie, women lie, numbers don't. Look at the dates and do what you want. So I started looking. I said, what the hell is this about? So it's $1,500 that he got paid on February 19th that was deposited into his account and the next thing you know, it's bars. I'm like, it's bars? What do you mean it's bars? So I'm looking at my joint. So I'm like, I got to see what's going on here. So I looked and I'm like, yo, these are bars because I seen the hieroglyphic bar. 
So I went and watched some of the battle back to see if she actually spit this shit. And Lord, Lord have mercy. She spit the fucking bars, my nigga. This nigga spit the fucking bar. Can you believe this shit? Lock up. Lock her up. <laughs> oh my God, yo. This shit is crazy, bro. That's why, I, yo, I, I mean, I'm a fan of female battle rap, but this shit right, this type of shit right here been going on way too long, and now it's getting exposed at the highest level. Like, she spits this shit. I couldn't believe it. I know you want clout, but I ain't like none of them bitches. No team, one-on-one, -on -one, I can ISO with it. Your tone keep blood low. You ain't with no hype or tension. Hold the autocorrect, but this the message with a typo with it. Rifle distance, I gotta snipe you with it. Nah, right on rock. High road, click, cold crowd. That motherfucker's guilty. 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 He's that guilty. Motherfucker's guilty. Whole crowd going crazy and you ain't wrote none of this shit. I could be a battle rapper. I might as well be when I get somebody to write all my shit for me. The going rate is fifteen hundred, cause the fifteen hundred is the price. Somebody told a lie one day. I pay a nigga $1,500, they pay me $10,000 a battle, and I get the nigga to write all my shit for me. They doing it. They doing it. They doing it. Niggas is trying to win battle of the year and all this other shit. They not even writing their own fucking bars no more. And the nigga exposed you. Why did he expose it? And I, rec I wanted to get this shot. Like, let me record this shit so the fans could actually hear what's going on. And I'm going to make sure I chop it up in a bunch of small pieces so you all don't go flag my shit. Because, you know, they, they see a clip, they're going to flag my shit like I did something to these niggas. When I'm an app paying nigga myself, I pay for the app every fucking month. I put a clip, they be ready to take my video down. That whole shit, but whatever. Um... Yeah, I, I I I don't even know where to start. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I ain't here to make friends. I call battle rap the way it is, man. I call it like I call it, so I can't spoil it. But I think this shit is nasty fucking work, all the way up and down the board. And the nigga basically exposed the fact that he wrote your rock. You lose that battle. You don't. Well, Any time a nigga come out and show the work that they actually wrote your bars for you, you don't win that battle. She loses to rock. I'm sorry. I don't give a shit. Because if he wrote that round, he probably wrote all the rounds. He just exposed the fact that he wrote wrong round. And we can't be giving credit for niggas for winning battles that they ain't won. And what is she going to say when the payment is shown February 19th at 5.26 p.m., $1,500 in his account? What are you going to say? Let me see where I already know this is going. He never wrote no rounds for me. But the date is right here. The money went to his account at February 21st, 2000. Well, let me see when King's verse comes. I'm going to, I got to, and then, if this right here... This is the nail in the coffin. Kings vs. Queens. Let me see when the fuck Kings vs. Queens was. Man. Looks like their battle, I got a recap on my channel from March 20th, 2023, right? I got a full recap on my fucking channel, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I have a full recap of 43,000 views on my channel from March 2023. He wrote and sent her these bars February 21st. February 21st, and the battle happened in March. I would love to know why does a nigga have your material a month before the battle comes out? Lock up, lock, yo, yo, lock these niggas up, bro. Really what we talking about, this is whole shit. Lock, lock these niggas up. Envy, Caesar, Hustle, and Mr. Fab. The jury's out on John John, uh, you know what I'm saying? He's acting oblivious right now. So we're going to see what he says is the reason why this shit happened. But these niggas got to go. She, get, get, she got to go. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to fucking hear it. She ain't even writing her own shit. I don't want to hear about who's the best. I got to guys, no top five, top three, no none of that shit. She's not writing her own raps, my nigga. Ghost written. Kids see ghost. It is what it is, man. I call it like I call it so I can't spoil it, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, gang, 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 I don't bang. But this shit is fucking wild. But you know what? I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why niggas be getting, why women uh, and niggas be getting their shit ripped, wrote for them. They get it wrote for them because it's cheap, first of all. You pay a nigga $1,000, $1,500. You're getting paid $10, $15, $20. You're getting paid big dollars, these artists that are getting shit written for them. You're getting paid $10,000, $15,000 a battle. 
So they don't give a fuck about giving a nigga 1500 and not writing anything. They'll just, what they do, they'll send them the audio so they can listen to it and the words so they can practice it. And they learn in battles that they're not even doing. They are. But I'm gonna tell you what, I'm the niggas who do who got Ghost Riders and Proven Go, I'm not copying they, I'm not watching this shit. I'm sorry, bro. I'm not like I'm not gonna be spending my hard-earned money just to find out niggas is not even writing their raps. I y'all could do it, but not I. I'm good. Anyway, stay up, you know what I'm saying? Like, shout out to Capo Bravado, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you did write that shit for her though, so you are a ghost writer. I ain't gonna knock you. If a nigga would've threw me 1500 and you got extra throwaway bars, shit, why not? And you should keep writing for these motherfuckers. And when they play you and get you mad, expose them too. We ain't mad. So shout out to you, shout out to New Orleans. Hustle, that shit is out of control and your excuse. And this is not even the first person that wrote for you. That's the thing. It's not even the first person. It's more than one. So I don't even think she get none of her. I don't think she write none of her battles no more. After hearing and seeing this shit, she not writing her battles like at all. I would love to know what the excuse is about this bitch. Get out of here for real. I'm saying get out of here for 